ice cream. So you're in, you're in Google Drive. This is all on the handouts. Yep. Okay, you guys got those. Made those. So you're gonna go create form. Okay. Now what? Now we're gonna say branching logic example. Um. Now. So, so I'm gonna slow you down for a second. That screen didn't automatically pop up on mine. So if it doesn't for Carol and Margaret, it's under um, choose theme. Choose theme. Yeah. Well, okay. theme. And then that screen that Ramsey was just talking okay. about. Now, do you guys know how to determine where your data goes? Um, so when you make a form, have you guys made a form within the last month? Yeah. Okay. When you make a form, it's going to say choose response destination. Usually it's like an Excel. Type. Yeah, it, it makes it. So mine doesn't show this right here, but yours will say choose response destination. And when you do that, it'll it'll create a spreadsheet and that's where all the responses will go, okay? Um, so you'll have two forms. You'll have one form for the form and then you'll have one form for where all the answers go, okay? So right when you're in here, this is where it, it can get really interesting. So you have your first question type. We've all done this, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna branch off of this first question. So I'm going to make this choice A, choice B, choice C, okay? And those three are all going to go to different options. So if I'm a science teacher or with you guys, I'm going to have a simple question here, question one, okay? But if I'm an English teacher doing this or, you know, I could have the kids write the whole story in the form description. So in here, it can be insert text or video, et cetera. Like, because this part can get really big and it's yeah, just going to keep going, right? right? So they make that. And then down here, it would be, if you'd like the character to do this, click here. If you'd like the character to do this, click here. Yeah. So if, if Walter um, decides to turn himself in, click here. If Walter decides to go here, you know, boom, if blah, blah, blah. Um, so I've seen a teacher do this and it was really cool. The kids wrote the stories based on their choices. So they wrote the prompt on one page in their notebook, and they're like, if this happens, then this. And they wrote three different versions of it. And then they put it into here, and kids read each other's. Which was such a cool idea, I thought. So here we are right now, OK? So what we need to do is we need to create a page for each choice. Okay? It's very simple. So you want to make this first choice required. But then you don't want to make anything else required. And the reason is, if you make everything else required, the, the form, they can't, go in different directions. They can't crash in different yeah. directions, OK? So I hit Done. I hit Add Item. And then I hit Page Break. And I say this, this is, for, this is the page for choice A. This was the page that on yours, it said, yes, you got it right. And so the choice, the page titles that you're putting in need to correspond to your answers for your first question? As long as you know them. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So like, it would be. I don't, it, you, you can come up with it. When you make them, you'll see. It will be like, oops, you got it wrong. Okay. Or something like that. So I'm just putting in a stock choice right now. Okay. Okay. Um, all right, so now I'm going to say done right here. Now in this page, I'm going to add another item within this page. And what I'm going to add is a paragraph text item here. And I, it might be um, watch video below and write a summary that describes your mistakes. I like to do that kind of stuff a lot, but it, this can be another story where they have to choose another branch. It can be where all your choices are for, for Native Americans or whatever, you know, ethnicity. So then they go here. Now I'll show you guys how to insert the videos when I'm done and stuff. Okay. So that's choice A. Okay. We're all good there. No big deal. Yeah, so now I'm going to go add item, page break, choice B, done. And then in B, I'm going to add a paragraph text. And I'm going to say, watch video below and write a summary that blah, blah, blah. You guys get, get the answer. You get the, get the point. Um, so this is kind of helpful. Now, I messed up here. I needed to put this in choice B's page. You can drag and drop. It's not going 
container. You might have to dump it. I'm going to dump it. And then I'm going to go here. I think you're an A again, Chris. I'm an A? Yeah. You just like go beneath it. Right? Yeah. Hit that one. This guy? Yeah. Pretty intuitive. And I'll say uh, insert text here. There it is. Yeah, this happens to me today too. Okay, so there it is. So I have, I have the two choices. So now let's say choice C is the. I'm doing this as if I'm a teacher, let's say, okay? So choice C is the correct answer. So what do we want to have happen when they choose choice C? Like if choice C is the correct nice answer. Move on to the question too. I don't know, it seemed like that. Something like that. So in this case, if that's just, in this case, I just want them to submit the form. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or it might be move on to the rest of the quiz, like the rest of the quiz is happening. Right. Did this show up once you created page breaks? No, it's always there. Page breaks. No, it's like, that's what we're going to use. Okay. So what I want right now is I want to branch A to A's choice. I want to branch B to B's choice. Okay. And I want when they click C for them to submit it. Or I could branch C to another page, which was the rest of the quiz. Like continue on. So I go back up to my initial thing here and I say, um, I hit this edit guy and I click go to page based on answer. So then with choice A, I say go to choice A. Choice B, I say go to choice B. And with choice C, I say submit the form. So there it's done there. Okay? So let's make, okay, we're good. We're good. If you put the page back around for the initial page ramp, it doesn't show up on all of the yeah, branches. Yeah. yeah. So um, now I'm just going to view the live form. We'll see if it works. So choice A, yeah, I went to the choice A page, and then I have to go continue. Okay, so there is something that happened wrong. See this? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is this is awesome. This is awesome. So choice A, that branched correctly, right? But then I want them to submit when they're done mm -hmm. with choice A, choice A, but it didn't do that. It gave me this continue, and it took them to choice B page because it's literally just taking me through. So that's so you need to do the same thing. Yeah, so let's just make original one. let's make sure these branches are work are work well first. Choice B takes me to choice B. And you get submit. Okay, we're good. And I get submit. But the reason I got submit is because choice B is was my last thing in the form. It's just going through my form. See that? It's just it's like, oh, you're at the end. So let's go through and let's make sure that choice C is legit first. And then we'll we'll do it. So choice C should take me to submit. Okay, good, it does. So the branching works. But what I need to do is I need to go up to choice A. You see this? Right here. And when it says after page two, you see this? Mm -hmm. After page two, submit form. And you right click to get the drop downs? I just clicked on it. So you can actually branch what happens after each page as well, right here. So now I'm going to view this, and let's see if that works. So choice A, do it, fill it out, so continue. Nope, it didn't work. So I think I did it in the wrong space. So that was the wrong. Yeah, for some reason it's saying for one of, page one of three, and it shouldn't say that, right? It should just be one of two. After page, so this is page 103. I know we can get this to do it though. I've done this before. So after page two, submit form. Do I need to hit like save or something? Let's see if this works. So this was when I chose A. Oh, there it is. It worked. All right, check it out, guys. When I put that in, when I put this in here, I think I just scrolled up on accident when you asked me how I did it. Sorry. I, I went, no. Okay, when I click A here, then I can go, I can fill that out, and then I can submit the form right there. I'm good to go. So if I wanted to add, now if I wanted to blow this thing up, um, you do that really in the help text at the top there, the description text, mm -hmm. or in the help text. In either one of those spaces, you can add as much text as you want. Any link you add is an active link. 
So if I did www.ccp.edu and I hit done here and we viewed this, that's an, that becomes an active link now. I can click on it. That used to not be the case in Google Forms. But any description area here or help text area here, I can go insert and I get all these options now. I never oh, got before. Wow. So I can go insert and I can put in um, all this crazy stuff. But the coolest thing I can put in is video straight from YouTube. So I can search for this, okay? And I can search for a Sacred Heart Cathedral Prep. Is that pretty new? This is brand new. Now this is brand, brand spanking new. So the video goes right in. And then I can resize it. And I can center it. I can hit done. And then I can go down here, which is even really, if you ask me, in the description, any description area, you can do it. Insert image, and watch, you can do so much crazy cool stuff. Like, you can get it from your Google Drive by URL, upload. I can even take a snapshot. So you can have kids, like, insert in images that they want. Like, I can see... Uh, all right, and it's going to put that directly into the Google Form. I mean, documents have always been able to do that, but putting it right into a Google Form is really, really, really awesome. It's slow right now because of my computer's dying. But um, that, that adds the storytelling capability. So see, now that's right in here. So you could, like, anything you want to basically do, it, do in a document, you can do in a form, like just yeah. as easily. So if I'm doing, I'm gonna stop the um, recording here.